but let our petitions to be in God's desire, in God's will. God wants to, God wants to be merciful. That is most desired. He's a merciful God. But we think God has to work according to our will. Let me tell you something, church. God doesn't let nobody to manipulate him. We cannot manipulate God by our needs. God doesn't work that way. God works according to his will. That's why we have so many problems. Because we think God has to uh, do our needs. Because we need. Because it's my will. And because it's me, me, and me. See, we don't put God first in our life. We always first me, second me, and third me. We should change our name. We should change the name from Carlos to me. <laughs> Let me tell you, we, we must change this way of thinking of, oh, it's got to be me. I need to do this for me, and I need to do this, I need to do that for me, and I need that for me. We must start praying by asking God what's His will. What do you want me to do, Lord? Because my petition, Lord, it has to, uh, you, you must rejoice, Lord, for my, the way, I, the things I want. And I want this, Lord, but the, what I need, it's in your will. There's so many false religions that want to manipulate God. There's so many people are one, uh, are teaching the wrong idea of about praying. Let me tell you this before you stop me. Let me tell you this. If I'm gonna preach the word of God, I wanna preach the right way. I don't wanna be a a false prophet that is using the word of God for the own good. I want to use the word of God for the good of your spiritual life and for the good of your spiritual life and God. And according to the Bible, says that God will answer your prayer if it's according to his will. Let's go to some difficult times. This time that we're going through right now is, is really a difficult time. There is no joke. There is no joke right now. And this is the time when we have to come in prayer and ask in the Lord what should we do in our life. Don't play with God. You're not taking lightly when you play with Him. When you're making a false promise, He just listens and see who you are. Uh, you know, we might think, oh, I can manipulate God. I can tell God, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I know I can, you know, I can do whatever I want. No, that doesn't work that way. Just think about it. The Bible says that he will answer our, our prayer uh, according to his will. And this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything, anything. According to his will. I don't know what's your need. But I hope 
that needs that you're being prayed for will be in God's will. Think about first, if it's the will of God. Second of all, if God will be pleased with that prayer. And third of all, you need to start thinking, what are you doing in your life? I want to finish with this. Thinking about it. In these difficult times, how are we going to go through it? We need to come to the Lord. Number one, rejoice because He has under control. Number two, we have to keep with our faith. We have to prove to the Lord that we really have faith in Him. Number three, we need to be strong. In difficult times, the world needs strong church. The church has got to be strong. Number three. Number four, come to Jesus. This is a difficult time. Let's come to Jesus with this big yoke that we have. Number five. We're a new creation of God. We have come to Jesus. And number six. And if we have all this, remember one thing. Through difficult times, Let's pray for these difficult times, but let's pray for this is the will of God. Wherever we ask to the Lord, let's, let, this prayer will be special and will be according to God's will. If it's God's will, then He will answer. If God not answer, then that's His will. Brother, why don't you come and pray? God help you.